Yo, what's up, video bloggers? That's right. It's like 5.20 in the a.m. Um, I, I couldn't sleep for shit. I tried and tried and continued to try and failed. So I only got 30 minutes of sleep, but it's okay. So I'm doing peyote stitch, right? I'm, I, I told myself already to, to change the thread because I'm getting towards the end, but I'm hard-headed. So what happened was I actually ended up breaking a bead. I'm gonna show you how to repair bead. All peyote stitch uh, bead workers go through this. It's because um, I, I use I use size 11 beads, but uh, the bead uh, number actually goes by the hole. Okay, but they're not all universally perfect. Okay, they're not like the uh, Japanese Miyuki beads. Okay, um, you know these these have their own character. You know. So I'm gonna show you how to how to how to fix that. Like most people would actually just think you just fill in the space with the bead of the color. True, yeah, but what you wanna do is let me try to show you. Okay, I don't know if you can even see. You have to get underneath uh this. You see that thread right there? You don't see yeah, you see that thread right there? You have to you have to put the bead that broke behind that behind that right there so let me let me do that right now for you guys and the color was purple let's do this so what you want to do is you want to take your needle right and slip it from the bottom and go up you're not going to go through any beads you just want to slip it up oh i'm talking about slip it up right there hold on let's try that one more time otra vez otra vez otra So, this time push the bead onto the thread so the shit don't slide off. <clears throat> so, take, take the needle, right? Go underneath the bead line from the one that you broke, right? Right? Okay? Pull it up. That's going to be perfectly in sync where, in, in sync, in sync where it was, right? Blam. If you can see, see? right where it was okay but now we have to we got to anchor this so the best way to anchor it is to go through the other the other beads in that row you just come and go maybe two or three beads at the max don't push it because you don't want to you don't want to uh, break other uh, beads going up in the succession of the row that you just finished so just pull it gently Ooh, we got true that. Okay. Blam. Okay. Alrighty. Let's push that right there. Okay. Now, what I could do is actually... Well, actually, what I tell you what, what I'm going to do is... Where's my scissors? I'm going to take my scissors right here. I'm going to trim this off right here. Snip. Just like testicles. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> just like getting the old puppy dog fixed okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna this last bead right here that white one right there okay I'm gonna come through there I'll come to this bead all right I don't have to worry about tying that off just yet okay I need my white bead all right and we're gonna go right to that same bead the one that we the, the one that was in the previous spot that we broke let me show sure you up close. Focus. So you see, I don't know if you can see, but that's what that's what we did. That's what we just did right there. And I'm not even gonna bother tying this off right here. I mean, I'll pull it a little bit more so I can get a little bit more leeway on this side. And I'm just gonna finish up beating this roll. A lot of people would think that you can actually just take your bead and just go up the row that it was from the one where the broken one was at but you can't because there is a thread that that was part of that that bead that broke and what happens even though you think oh yeah it's thread it's you know it's flat no it's gonna it's gonna make it pop out so that's why you got to go from underneath bring the bring the needle up and then go through that line of beads 
I can't tell you how how bad I've had it with with the uh, Peary Stitch on on this project. I never had so much problems even just starting it, you know? Like seriously, like I I've never had such a hard time starting it. I mean like I'm usually like because the first the first row is always the hardest and then afterwards it's just one bead, you know, this is this is three drop peary stitch. But and I know I told you all that I was gonna do videos on how to do beadwork and stuff like that. Let me just tell you right now, okay? It's so hard to try to mentally manage doing the shit and narrating at the same time. It's like if you if you watch like Joaquin Lone Lodge's videos on uh, making regalia, that's just like thirty minutes because there's so much explaining that goes into it, and he's doing it at the same time. Shouts to shouts out to Joaquin. Yeah, making all that awesome regalias. Okay. So this is a this is a, a coup stick. Not like not like acoustics, like the sound, but coup as in like counting coup, as in like you don't have to kill the enemy, you just touch him. And so you actually count that as a victory, you know what I mean? That you got so close to him. There was the, there was an Apache uh, warrior warrior named Loco uh, that had that counted serious coup because he would actually go right up to the cavalry wall and go make trouble to them. And then he would just like skirt away, just like real easy, like, you know, no worries. Speaking about local, I wish somebody out there would make a movie, a good movie about Mickey Free and John Rope, all those Apache guys. Bloody dudes. Alright, I'm about to finish out this row. And as anyone who ever does peer stitch knows when you finish off that row, you go through two beads. That's all I'm saying. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna get into an instructional video, I'm telling you. Let me see here. Let me bring you guys closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Come here, get over here. It's 5 freaking 30 in the morning, okay? So I'm kind of shredded and tired, so. Mm, yeah, you're getting all kooky kind of today. So you see over here, you see right there? I'm putting the last bead in right there. So in order for me to make this chain of succession in this row right here, this is the 21st bead, right? You got to go through two beads. Go to the purple and then go to the white one right down over there, right? And if your needles, if your needles really, uh, like if it's uh, if it doesn't budge, get a pair of lines bend pliers, yeah. And uh, pull like this, okay. But pull gingerly. You don't want to snap beads. If I snap beads, you guys are gonna see me erupt. Seriously. Hey, no erupting. I know I gotta pat you on the back, man, because you could have actually said some kind of weird, bizarre, freaking comment after I said erupting, but you didn't, and I congratulate you. Hey, thanks, dude. Yeah. Right on, right on, right on. So, this this peony stitch right here I'm doing is for uh, one of my bros uh, out in Shinnecock, um, and. Um, I hope he doesn't see this right now because I kind of don't want him to see. I mean, like I got from here, I got all, I got to finish all the way down to the bottom of this tape right here. So, I mean, he's, he's just, it's a little scramble, you know, I mean, a little scrap of a sample just to see like what he's going to be getting. I know this doesn't really constitute as a real vlog and you guys are like, no, I want some kind of stuff, man. I want to learn. All right. If you want to learn, carry my books. <clears throat> I'm, I'm joking. So, end this line right here before it causes me any more confustication. Snip. I just figured it was a good moment right there just to show how to replace a broken bead. Um, you never want to just 
quit. I'm telling you why. You, you never want to just throw beads over the line because what's going to happen is um, they're, they're not going to be uniform how the rest of the how the rest of the beadwork is and it's going to affect the rest of the entire beadwork so it's not really going to look the same you know what I mean I mean you're going to have one row that's kind of like just like lazy and stuff it's going to be like hanging out all over the place uh, so yeah this is what your boy looks like early in the morning with like 40 minutes of sleep still look good huh Man, you're still alone though, man. Nobody wants to snag your boy. Because <laughs> I'm trouble. Trouble. I got my turtle over here. Sunny. I rescued. It's at 2015. Shit, three years I had this girl. And I've actually just found out she's a boy. So, whatever, right? Exactly. I got Steve. My beta fish, I called him Steve because he's got these brilliant red, white, and blue colors. It reminds me of Captain America, Steve Rogers. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's it. Um, I'm not going to be showing you the rest of this cane until it's done when I'm at Brown University powwow. Stepping up for competition. And I'm going to bring this to my bro, John John. And um, yeah. Can't wait to see the look on his face. Man, he's going to be flipped out. I'm actually going to adorn both ends over here with some buffalo scraps. It's going to be chill. And then I got one of my signature beaded medicine wheel pieces. Plop right in there. Well, let me try to see if it, I mean, if I know it fits in there, it's just it's hard to get a picture like that. It's going to be like, blam. It's going to be sick. Yeah. I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Keith, cause I've been I've been depressed. He's known I've been depressed, and he's been like inflicting on me some seriously uh, good vibrations about me getting back to doing beat, uh, beat work. He's been very very uh, instrumental in encouraging me. So shouts out to my boy Keith. Hey. 12 minute vlog talking about nothing shit and you guys are watching sheesh you love me you really love me shit kind of go fucking back to sleep get some sleep dude all right i can't back to beadwork gotta make stuff happen gotta give this to him before what is it april sheesh i got like just over a month now and this is a fat piece of wood this is uh, about two inches in circumference crazy hey thanks so much for watching yeah um take care much love uh i really appreciate everything oh i gotta tell you before i go 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 um i just my boy uh was telling me about um this native channel and um when i went looking for it uh, found out about OCO TV. I love that man. It's 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 awesome, man. It's so cool. Uh, uh, Cherokee Broadcasting. I love it. Um, I have any other shouts out to to anyone? A shout out to myself. Kind of what? Go the frick back to sleep. I can't. <laughs> Anyways, take care of my love. Um, uh, till I see you again. Donald Dagohani. Uh, take care. Peace, good animals.